So now I'd like to demonstrate a, a visual about how business works. And it starts with this. We've got two pillars of business, and that is the customer and the product or your service. You need both of these to be able to have any kind of business. Without one, there is no business. You need to have a customer and you need to have a product or service. And this also entails the concept that you need to have a product that customers actually want, that they're willing to pay for. There needs to be a validation of the product or the service that you're offering, and there needs to be a market of people who want to buy it. Next, the first step in the business machine is marketing. And that is the process of making your customer aware of your product or your service. And you know that, that can take so many different forms. It's not just advertising. Um, marketing happens in so many different ways, in really passive ways, as well as the as, um, direct ways. And it's all to do with making the customer aware of your product or service. And then successful marketing happens when your customer chooses to purchase your product or service. Then we've got the process of operations, which is the process of delivering your product or your service to the customer as promised. Now, this will be different for every single business. It depends if it's a product that you make and then deliver or um, post out. It could be a service that you give them either face-to-face -face or online or whatever it is. But there is a process involved that in delivering your product or your service to your customer. And it's got to be as promised or you're not going to last much longer. Then we've got the finance and that's the money that comes from your customer and it goes into your business. And here we see that their business becomes, if you can picture it, a ship or a boat, whatever, um, have your business as a vehicle of a ship, the finance is the money that comes from the customer and it keeps your business afloat. Now that ship is all of the assets and the value and the equity and everything of your business that makes your business able to continue operating, to continue making your product or your service and delivering it. And you know, there, there are things that uh, will take money away from our business, like our liabilities and the money that we need to take from the business to be able to survive in our own families. But all the money comes to the business and it's meant to keep that business afloat so that you can then move forward. And so this visual helps to illustrate the three areas of business being marketing, operations and finance and how they all have a very specific role to play in the business machine. Uh, and they all rely on each other doing their thing. You know, operations needs to be working independently of the marketing and finance, and yet it relies on the marketing and the finance to be able to keep going and for the whole machine to keep running and moving and ticking along. So I hope that this helps you to visualize the different areas of your business and the different skills that you're going to need in each of these areas to be able to be a, a really good business owner. So have a look now at this organization chart. The business owner through to the general manager and then each of those departments, marketing, operations and finance. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a demonstration of how all of these elements work together. So the business machine in motion would look a little bit like this. We have the business owner who is probably on holiday somewhere because that's what business owners do, right? You know, they're, they're on holiday, they're having a great time and they come up with this great idea. Oh, I know, we need to make blue widgets now instead of red. And if we make all of our blue widgets now, that'll appeal to a whole new market and oh, it's gonna be fantastic. So business owner calls up uh, general manager. General manager says, hello boss, yes, 
Okay, I understand. Yes, all right. Blue widgets, not red. We're making blue widgets now. Right, okay. I'll make it, I'll make it happen. Thanks, boss. Okay. And then general manager goes to the three different departments, marketing, operations, and finance. And his job is to make sure that everything, everyone's doing their job and that every target is being met and no one's letting the team down and everything's, you know, all those plates are spinning and, you know, everything's staying balanced. So general manager calls up marketing. Marketing goes, oh, wonderful. I've got a fantastic idea to do a great big launch on the blue widgets and this is going to be fantastic. And, oh, I know we can do a great big um, celebration about blue widgets and, you know, this is, I, I, know, I know how to do this. I'm going to put a whole new spin on it and how the blue widgets are so much better than the red ones. And this is going to be great. I'm, I'm on it. I know what to do. Right. Then we've got operations, the one who actually does all the work. So operations, right? Okay. So I'm on the floor and I need to remove all of the red widgets and all the components that make the red widgets. And I'm going to just sort of put them over there and we'll, we'll worry about the storage or disposal of them. Um, and then I need to order in all this blue stuff. We're going to have to change over everything. Everything is going to need to be redone. Um, and so we're going to need these processes in place to make sure that happens. And we need to make sure that we comply with all the, um, all the standards that are, that are important. And okay, I know what I'm doing, right? I'm on it. Then we have finance. So finance says, well, now I know what to do here. So the blue widgets are going to cost this much, uh, we're going to need to sell them for this much um, and sell it to that many people so that we can get enough so that we can keep all the, the money flowing in and need to make sure the accounts are paid, need to make sure that the marketing budget doesn't get blown out and, you know, make the whole thing unviable. Uh, need to make sure that uh, the, the share price stays stable so that, you know, we, we don't want the, the boss thinking that he's got all this money um, and, and taking all this money that when it's not there yet, you know, we need to make sure that we invest this money back into the business to make sure that we can continue to make the blue widgets and be ready for the boss's next great idea. So that's a bit of an idea of how it would work in all of those different hats. As a micro business owner, you're wearing all of those hats and no wonder People get confused, people get at a, you know, really muddled up and, and maybe you're spending too much time in one area when they need to be spread out across all the five different areas. You need to have the great ideas. You need to have the management of the different departments and you need each department to be doing their thing and working well and properly and doing their job. It's a lot for one person. Um, it would be great if we could just hire people to do the work for us, but you know, that's when, you know, there won't be any money left for us. So it comes down to us and yes, we can get some help. We can outsource a little bit, outsource, you know, little things that we either just physically can't do, we don't have, have that skill or, uh, just to, to lighten the load on us if, and when there's money available to do that. But everyone who's running a business by themselves needs to have all of those skills in some degree and needs to have an understanding of what's required in each of those departments to make the whole business machine work.